Cutting Boulevard, West Cutting Boulevard here slanted to the right, as you can see a little bit. So you're gonna be kind of riding at an angle, lean to the right on a three-wheel vehicle or your car. All right, there's a sign for 101 North. Oh, the road's pretty bad here. I gotta hold on to my handlebars. So it doesn't look like that's it because it says pedestrian cycles, motor driven cycles prohibited. So I think I need to go a little further past that 101 on ramp. Now uh, coming up into view is the uh, overpass or the ramp that it leads out of there. So I think there's a left turn up ahead here. All right, so here's the left turn. A little bit of dirt. It says bike route to the right, but these cars are probably doing like 50 miles an hour. So I gotta make sure I stay to the right here as this transitions to Sir Francis Drake Boulevard. A lot of road debris and rocks on the right side here. All right, it's actually pretty wide here. I mean, there's a huge lane on the right side. So the cars, even if they're doing like, I don't know, 50 miles an hour, I've got a good six, eight feet between me and the car, so that's real nice. And then this is looking at the overpass to the right to 101 North. All right, here's Sir Francis Drake Boulevard. It's kind of wide, almost like San Paolo Dam Avenue, so there's quite a bit of a shoulder. And the right side looks like it's been street sweeped or swept, so it's like on this right side of the road here, it's actually pretty nice. Made it onto Larkspur Landing Road, Officer Francis Drake, and I'm trying to find a bike path entrance. And I believe it's up here to the right somewhere. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and go straight here and then into this parking lot. I think I see a sign over there, so I'm gonna turn right into this Sentry Theaters, Larkspur Landing, come through the Sentry theater parking lot here and then there's a sign up to the left where that person is for entrance to the bike path and uh, wow looks pretty nice over here just gotta follow this around and probably gonna lead over to a bridge oh there's a another path to the left there that goes back down to sir francis drake boulevard but i'm gonna continue right here and head up and over Sir Francis Drake Boulevard to the other side. And I think I need to get down through this maze over to the other bridge to the right. And that should take me towards Sausalito or southbound. Let's see here. So here's the maze area. I think I'm going left. I guess. Oh, this would be tight, tight turns right here. That's a tight turn. Maybe a three point turn on a long bike. And then this one, wow, this is real narrow here. Wow, so if you go over this in a trike, you're gonna have to pretty much take up the whole wide lane. I don't even know how bikes get around or more than one bike in this area. So that was at least 150 yards or so. And then at the end here, 90 degree, super sharp right turn with a big bump or step. Definitely not good for longer bikes or trikes. All right, turn on to this bike path here. Uh, earlier, there were a lot of bumps and roots, almost like the bike path by University Avenue. Uh, I had to slow down a bit. Looks like a nice overpass or canal and no bump here. Uh, I guess continue on. All right, here's the right turn onto William Avenue. And it looks like... Turn left onto William Avenue. This is a real narrow exit here on both sides and even here kind of got to get off and walk through to get onto 1, the streets feet. turn right onto magnolia avenue all right mate made it to the meetup group under the nice redwood trees 
And this we're heading out to Paradise Road. All right, made it to the group. Let's see who's on a ride here. Oh, they're starting to pick up the pace. Riding around Paradise Boulevard, and we're in Tiburon. Hey, well, finish a little Paradise Loop at speed. Oh, looks like Carl caught up to us. And riding through Tiburon, I guess now. I uh, made it out to the Tiburon bike path. It's still a real nice day out here. I departed from the group, but David here decided to come by and ride across the bridge with me, the uh, Richmond San Rafael Bridge. So, heading north now. Back on the super narrow, crazy section that goes towards Richmond Bridge. Yep, that's one bike and takes up pretty much the whole path here. Now here we are going over the overpass. Pretty neat. All right, we're heading north and there's this smart train. Tracks over to the left. And now we get to go through this bikeway narrows. Ferry. Can you go to Oh, wow. I'm probably going to lose some GPS signal here, but wow, this is neat. Yeah. This is a real cool looking tunnel. So, you take this to go north, or why do you take this, David? To go north. But last time, there was the uh, construction along the, the bike route. Up the, up on the hill. So, we could go that way. So, we would be going this way for at least a year. When did they open this? I'd say maybe five years now. Oh, this has been five years? Yes, I think so. Wow. But it took uh, over 10 years. Oh, to build it? From the initial idea. Oh, this is nice. Summer must be nice and cool in here. <laughs> wow, that's pretty neat. Let me pop out over here somewhere. Back on the Richmond Bridge, and again another headwind going back. What's the odds of that? So, just to take a look at the headwind here 3% grade up, 10 miles an hour, doing 220 watts. So, yeah, definitely headwind. All right, just made it up to one of the towers. Got one more to go, and then off the bridge. finish off a nice great day bike ride.